day would come, I've dreamt this day would come where I'd finally meet Eli and I'd say hi and he'd say hi and I'd say, I love your music and he'd say cool. And we'd start Snapchatting and texting and we'd follow each other on Instagram and people would think we were besties, but we'd say, it's nothing. But it's actually something. Paul, there's something, all right. Kim and I have loved Elite's music for so long. I've studied it, actually. I broke down all their drops and listened to all their tracks. Eli's a musical genius. My favorite is This Is Nothing. What's yours, Em? Actually, there's so many that I haven't heard. I don't know their music. If only I were you to listen to their music again for the very first time. What's up, Maywood Glen Academy? It's good to be home. I miss you guys. I also miss my Grandma Jerry's oatmeal cookies. I love you, Grandma. Anyway, as all of you know, we just came back from a very successful world tour. And as a way to thank our hometown, we will be giving a free concert at this very school! Hey, Michaela. Hey, oh, Kyle. That's pretty cool of these guys to give a free concert, huh? Oh, yeah. You know, my brother and Eli were in a couple classes here together, and now Eli's a star, so kind of gives hope for average guys like me, huh? Not at all. What? No, I mean, you're not average, and you have a shot at being more than average. Oh, uh, yeah, thanks. Um, that's encouraging. Uh, well, I'm just going to quit while I'm ahead here, but uh, see ya. <sighs> one step forward, two steps back. I think you mean two steps forward and one step back? I wish I did. But we will get there. And for our return home, we have amazing news, Maywood Glenn. To tell you all about it, I'd like to bring up the man of the hour. The man that made it all happen. Our sponsor, Simon Temple! No way, no way! I can't believe Simon Temple is here in Maywood Glenn! Just breathe, just breathe. Okay, too much breathing. Do you have it? Huga the rabbit, Malik. You've done very well, Tessa. Our plan to use Mr. Coyle's security clearance to get what we want has worked perfectly. His daughter interrupting our date actually makes it easier. We'll be long gone before anyone realizes the prototype is missing. Let's go. What are you doing? This was a bad idea. It isn't right. <laughs> what? I... I can't do this. What do you mean you can't do this? You've been training for this for years. Our people expect us to deliver the weapon. But I think... What? You are a young girl. It's not your job to think for yourself. I've heard that my entire life. Until my friends here convinced me I should start. This weapon could hurt a lot of innocent people. Tess. Go away, Ember, please. I'm not going anywhere. You're right. You don't have to do this. You need to walk away. Now. You have no idea what she's capable of. I don't want you to get hurt. We're running out of time, Tessa. Give me the prototype. You're going to have to get by me. And trust me, I'm a lot tougher than I look. What's going on here? Oh, Dr. Crawford, am I happy to see you? The child is having second thoughts, and this one knows everything. OK, feeling a little less happy. Tessa, dear, you don't know what you're doing. We're all you've got. We're your family. You're not my family. You recruited me. I work for you, that's all. Enough! I won't have these children ruin everything I've worked for. I'm sorry I've been lying to you. How about we talk about this later? Take the prototype. By force if you have to. Run! No te metes conmigo! I didn't know you knew martial arts. I don't. But whoever came around that corner wouldn't know that. Well, the rooftop bust was another mistake. But at least Mr. Coyle's safe. Oh, we're back to where we started? Not so fast. Is 
split up. We have to find the prototype. Where were you? Ruining my dad's life. Uh, by the way, I owe your mom a huge apology. Yeah, I was about that. She's not my mom. Wait, what? Nessa, open this door! No! Can't turn back now. You're part of this. Now give us the prototype. Hey, uh, Devin, um, I don't have you down here for an audition. Because I'm not. I'm just doing a favor for Brie and Pam. I got these color filters for your light show. Trust me, you'll like it. Do we have a choice? Nope. Uh, it's Brian Cam. She does not care. Yeah, she still calls me Lyle. Yeah. Anyway, good luck. Yo, Camster Dan. Congrats on, if you're lucky, second place. <laughs> well, you know what else is number two, Justin? Yeah, let's not go there. He's just trying to get in your head. Well, it's working. He's in there. This is my one shot to make an impression on Simon Temple. What if he doesn't like what I've created? Are you kidding? Simon's gonna flip when he sees how insanely talented you are. Plus, with my EDM beats, we're gonna crush it. Circuit beats, you're up. Let's do this. Go, girl! Yeah! Yeah! how to get past that security perimeter. Well, these spy glasses are pretty rad. <laughs> anyway, it's got some tight tools. My turn, my turn. Let me see. Oh, do you see that car? Looks more suspicious to me. Hmm. Super sketch. That's gotta be them. Whoever it is that wants to stop the prince, they're moving in fast. We've gotta get past that guard and get to him before they do. Uh, guys, that was my urgent voice. Mm -hmm. No biggie, I got this covered. Amazing. What did you do? I just rerouted his computer to stream an endless loop of funny cat videos. <laughs> he should be distracted for at least an hour. Very impressive. Thanks. Let's bolt before he catches on. Oh, 
Oh, wow, okay, yeah. Uh, since anybody asked me to guide you through this, here's lesson number one. Secret agents don't bounce. Oopsies. <laughs> and they don't say oopsies. Hey, hey, hey. Where do you girls think you're going? And how did you get in here? Sir, I'm Agent McAllister, and I've been assigned to watch over the Prince and ensure that he safely boards his space flight. Well there, Harriet the Spy. I look after the Prince, OK? No, no visitors allowed inside, so you lot are going to have to go home and swoon over his snap book like all the other fangirls, OK? <laughs> it's Snapchat. You see, you were mixing up Snapchat and Facebook. <laughs> Sir, you don't understand. I work for an elite group of women operatives from all over the world. Oh, hey! Is this what usually happens? No, not when I'm on my own. What do we do now? They're never gonna let us in. Mm -hmm. You're right. They won't. Not a chance. And this is what I call a red alert. <laughs> Thank you.